What's up, what's up everybody? Welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video sponsored by Playroom. Thank you Playroom very much for sponsoring the channel. If you guys like what you see, click on the link in the description to check out more of Raid Shadow Legends. So what are we doing today in the game? Today, we are going to be checking out Squippy's account. Squippy is actually gold for an arena. Squippy, we were streaming Raid Shadow Legends the other day, twitch.tv slash bagelmon, and uh, Squippy was like, oh, you want to do some summons? So we did some summons for Squippy's, and um... I saw his account, I was like, oh, we gotta do, we gotta do a video showcasing your account because it's really cool and I'd like to play around on it some more and see some of the higher level uh, dungeon teams and also show you guys some of the higher level dungeon teams. But first, but first, the devs actually sent me a goodie box and I don't know what's in it, so I thought let's open it on video and see all of the cool stuff that's in it. I wonder if some of this stuff that's in here is some of the same stuff that's on the tournament leaderboards because they have different tournaments um, based on like you do arena and stuff like that and they have different tournaments where if you rank high on the leaderboard they actually send you physical like physical stuff so I wonder if some of the stuff in here is the same as the stuff that they send out to the people that rank high on the leaderboards. What is this? Yo! Okay, there's something in here. This is really cool. So this is a power bank. I know probably everyone knows what this is. These are so... I live in Florida. We have a lot of hurricanes. These are like the best things in the world in Florida. Like these are especially awesome in Florida. I cannot express these. This is like the coolest. So especially like if you're on the go and you're like, hey, I don't have enough I don't have enough juice in my phone. Keep farming. Coaster, Raid Shadow Legends keychain that I think might double as a bottle opener. I'm not sure. It looks like it. I don't know if it's intended to, but you probably could with it. T-shirt. That was just in the rest of the box. I didn't even open this one yet. I think I know what's in here now, actually. I think I know what's in here. So this is an Athel collectible figurine, like in the game, very cool. That even has its own Wayne Shadow Legends base. And for whatever reason the camera can't, uh, can't focus on it. Thank you again to Plarium, very cool stuff, very nicely done. Now back to the rest of the video. Alright, very cool. Back to Squippies though. So like I said, Squippies is actually gold for an arena, which is if we go to the tiers. Actually, we could check out his defense too. If we go to tiers, this is the highest. Uh, this is the highest uh, rank in in arena currently that we have. So, what is his defense? Aha! He has two legend. He's got this. Uh, the Venus. He's got. Oh no! I don't want to change. I don't want to change his defense. He's got Jingle Hunter, Seeker. I have Jingle Hunter too on my account. Uh, Jingle Hunter and Seeker are both epics, and then Venus and Robar are legendaries. I don't really know too much. You know what? I really don't know too much about Robar. Uh, let's see. Let's not do too much arena first, but let's see the different units that he has. Uh, he's got. He has a few legendaries, though. Not gonna. I got this guy. Uh, he's got a few legendaries. Uh, some of this stuff might need to be. He he told me as well. He said some of the stuff is might be geared okay, but some of the stuff might need to be uh, regeared. So this is not necessarily super end game gear especially something like this is not really anything special for this this set of boots but at least we could go see what he's kind of focusing on doing he's got really tanky she's really tanky not too much attack mostly fast and tanky uh and actually she's got decent uh, accuracy so what does he have he has speed accuracy and hp so he's using her basically just for support um this has got the poison this is aoe defense uh break and a weaken as well uh, and then this has an HP burn. Ooh, 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 ooh. She good. Uh, she's good in uh, clan boss, isn't she? Yeah, she's good in basically everything. <laughs> basically everything. Okay. And then this is the. Uh, let's take a look at the master tree for her. I don't know how many people have um, the. So a lot of support stuff. A lot of support stuff. I don't know how many people really have the Venus to uh, to care too much about the masteries. But there, there we go for that. And we can see. Oh. How do we pull up the other one? Oh, we just clicked on one of the uh, the, the the things here. So we've got the Robar as well. Uh, so Robar, he has speed, HP, 
uh, attack on that. Aha. So he's kind of like a... He, he actually has him as a tanky, tank, kind of a tanky bruiser. If we look at all the stats on him, he's got him as a tanky bruiser. Yeah, he's got a lot of HP. He's got good attack. He's got decent defense. Not really so fast. Not a huge amount of crit, crit damage. And he's got some he's got some accuracy on him. Okay. Uh, we see Cupidus. I think he's using Cupidus a lot. Not a lot of speed on the Cupidus, though. Not a lot of speed on the Cupidus. Uh, so Cupid is an attack power, uh, attack base unit. So I feel like I would do, a, a Cupid is kind of like attack or damage attack with, uh, HP subs. So what does he have? Attack, 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 okay, attack, attack for damage, and just HP subs. So, it's same, same thing. Uh, we kind of hope for the more, he's got good crit rate, he's got good crit damage on it too. But I would kind of hope for more, um... Here's the skill tree so far in him. He's still working on finishing the skill tree, but not bad. And Tayrell, I think more people are probably interested in the Tayrell than anything. Oh, Tayrell's got so much. Well, he's a defense-based unit. He's, he does things based on his defense. Um, damage based on defense here. Damage based on defense here. Uh, damage based on defense here. He's got the aura, increased defense. Um, so he's geared up for speed, defense, defense. He's got a lot. He, I was expecting more HP to be honest on him, but he's got a lot, a lot, a lot of defense. A lot, a lot, a lot of defense. Let's see the masteries. So he's working quite a decent amount on uh, the masteries as well. Uh, we're going to show you the Minotaurus dungeon, uh, dungeon, dungeon as well, so we can see. Um, so I can show you. He's kind of does something interesting with the, as far as the Minotaurus dungeon is. Here's the Jingle Hunter stuff. Uh, Jingle Hunter is. Kind of like a CC unit. So he is geared up for attack, attack, or damage. Attack, attack, or damage. Okay. Not. Oh, go, 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 go. This is not good. This piece of gear is not good. <laughs> okay. So, uh, there's, there's, things, things, things could be improved. Things could be improved. Gold 4, you say? Gold 4, really? Okay, now we know what to strive for in Gold 4. So we have Kali, she's not even finished uh, being built. She's kind of like a work in progress, I guess. This is some stuff that's not even finished being built. Sinesha. What is Sinesha on? I'm just going to assume that a lot of the... Oh, Adriel. What is Adriel on? So she's just fast, tanky, and uh, decent accuracy for Adriel. But maybe this helps uh, some people like decide, like, oh, I might want to build uh, this for that. I might want to build this this way or uh, this other thing that way. Attack, attack, crit damage. So a lot of things are... Uh, basically, standard DPS set is if something says it's for attack, attack, crit damage, attack, um, or attack, attack, crit damage is a nice, uh, a nice build for it. High attack, high crit damage. Uh, just standard attack type stuff. This is, the, I mean, if it's got three star, if it's got three star artifacts on it, I'm just going to say that it's probably not being used. Uh, this guy actually is being used. He uses this for wall boss speed, accuracy, HP. Uh, so he's got a lot of, he's got enough tankiness to survive. He's got a lot of accuracy. Um, he's going to use this more for, but he's got a lot of good world boss stuff already. That's the thing. He's got a lot of good world boss. Cold heart, speed, HP, HP. A world boss, clan boss, sorry, clan boss, clan boss, clan boss. But this is what he has on these. I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm kind of like not looking too much at the stuff that seems to not be focused on too much. Now he's got the apothecary, which he seems to like apothecary. Speed, HP, HP. Mainly just fast and tanky. Not worrying too much about the fact that this is attack, just fast and tanky. And then the masteries are... Actually, I'm surprised to see these masteries, to be honest. I kind of thought he was going to go a different route. I thought he was going to go for, like, defense and support instead of offense and support. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Um, so, the reason that he does, the reason that he went offense and support is for the last skills on the, um, the last skills here. Like, the War Master and, um, Giant Slayer. That's why. Because of his first skill. That's why he went more offense. That's why he went for the offense route. Okay, so now I, I know why he did it. 
So what do we have for Hexweaver? Speed HP HP. Generally the stuff like that that I'm seeing has like the masteries unlocked, I feel is the things that he's more using. I'm surprised I thought he'd be using Seeker. Seeker more. But anyway, we see like a little bit of uh this stuff. Some of this stuff is not really too geared. Maybe he didn't use it too much. He's focusing on like a few core units now and not trying to six star everything at the same time. But uh, that's what he's got so far for that. Uh, let's take a look at some of his, uh, his teams here. Oh, let's do the clan boss. Let's do the clan. But yeah, we have less than an hour. Let's do this clan boss. I'm guessing we're doing... I thought I saw his name. Squippies. There we go. So this is Kale, Apothecary, Tyrell, uh, Venus, Cupidus. Let's see. Let's see how much damage it does. I know it does a lot of damage. Would it do, uh, four million damage, something like that? I don't know if this is too, it might be too loud. I might have to turn it, turn it down a little bit. Hot damn. Hot damn. Look at all those debuffs. Look at all, okay. Tons and tons of debuffs. Uh, we have an HP burn on, yeah, yeah, we have an HP burn. Uh, as we can clearly see. So we have a lot of poison, we have a lot of HP burn. As soon as, as soon as he starts taking turns, this boss starts taking turns, he's gonna deal so much damage to himself. So I'm curious. Damage, 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 damage. And every time this, um, this apothecary moves, he's gonna, ooh. Oh, no, 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 he, he doesn't have the last skills unlocked yet, never mind. Oh my god, all those debuffs. So that is the max amount of debuffs right there. Look at that, look at that damage though. That's the damage you want to go for. This is beautiful. I mean, some of these units are, are legendary, so it's not really super easy to get them. But the basic concept is... I turned, I turned then the game audio, but I still feel like this might be a little too, a bit too loud. I apologize in advance if this is too loud. Um, but anyway. I tested it before the video. Gosh, I like, I, you know what? Venus, I didn't really care too much about beforehand. Uh, before I started seeing her in action, but like I really like her her outfit and I like the, her uh, her animations. Like everything she did, she's got like little lightning bolts on on things. So I think Cupid, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. But I think Cupidus might have some cool stuff going on too. Oh no, that was uh, that was what's his face? That was the other one. That was Tyrell. Okay, so Kale's down. So how much longer we how much longer do we survive in this before we eventually succumb to the uh <laughs> the end? This is a creepy boss. This boss is like beast mode. In a good way, in a good way. Like he's well done. He looks actually like menacing. Not too bad, but eventually we die. Eventually we die, and then how much more can he take? But I see a lot of people doing the uh, doing the Tayrells and apothecaries and things as their support units. Six point one seven damage. A lot of da a lot of damage from uh, Venus and a lot of damage from Kale. And a lot of damage from Cupidus. The Venus did a lot of damage, though. Because she's got the HP burn, she's got the poison as well. Kale did pretty good, though. For, for a rare unit, I mean, I gotta hand it to him. He did pretty good at five stars. And he's built speed, HP, and accuracy. You want, it, you want him to stay alive. And you want him to land the, uh, the, the uh, poison debuffs. So, very nice. Now, let's take a look at his, uh, his, some of his dungeon teams. Let's take a look at this Minotaur team. Now, I was, he was explaining this to me in, let's, let's start the run. He was explaining this to me in uh, chat as well. I was like, oh, who's your fifth? There's only four units here. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm just running these four units. Which actually makes sense because at the end of a Minotaur run, uh, you get scrolls. And the scrolls are randomly rewarded to one of the units in your party. But if you only are looking to um, upgrade to, to master 
uh, or upgrade the the masteries of certain units and you don't like there's no fifth unit that you want to really upgrade the skills on just yet then it makes sense to only have four units in your party so you have a better chance of getting the scrolls for the units that you want rather than having i mean as long as you can run it with four and he can run it with four just fine so again apothecary though and um and Tyrell. Really, really strong. Really strong in a lot of stuff, though. Really strong in a lot of stuff. We'll take on... Well, Apothecary really... This... Apothecary is... Right now, he's just resting. He's, he's just hanging on the place. Like, don't mind me. Don't mind. I think he's 5 star though. And we're, and we're on Minotaur 15. So let's take a look at how much damage everything did. Um, Cupid is definitely... Kind of OP there. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Kind of OP there. Let's take a look at it again. Uh, Cubitus debuffs. Uh, damage based on damage increases by 15% of target has any debuffs. And of course, he's got a lot of debuffs. So this is his default skill. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Uh, three times at random, 50% chance of play, uh, placing an HP burn. Oh, I forgot about him doing the HP burn. I was talking about the, uh, the Venus doing the HP burn um, here. But Cubitus does an HP burn too. Ooh. And then this, uh, this as well. Oh, and this is, this combos with Venus. Tax inflicts 25% more damage to targets under debuff when, oh my god, he's got so much dam- Look at the amount of debuffs that we did, though. That was, that was a lot of damage based on, a lot of damage multipliers based on the amount of enemy debuffs. That was pretty beastly. Um, uh, I don't know if he's really farming much of the Ice Golem, though. This is the ice, the last ice. I don't think he's really farming too much of that. Uh, but that was his ice golem team. Sinisha. That he, anyway, the, the, the one that he has at least. But I think he said he wasn't even farming that right now. I think he said he was mostly farming. Let's see his uh, spider team. Here's the spider team right now. Let's see, let's see how it does. Ooh. Vrask. So this is just a constant heal. I'm surprised to see the Vrask in there, to be honest. Excuse me. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see what this does. I just I'm expecting a lot of AOEs and a lot of AOEs. I'm expecting a lot of AOEs, a little bit of sustain, but mostly just big, big, big damage. Big AOE damage. Because you want to kill these spiderlings. If you if you don't kill the, I are they even called spiderlings? Hold on. Or am I just making that word up? Oh, it is actually spider- Okay, I didn't make it up. You want to kill the spiderlings, though, because they'll, he uh, they'll heal the boss. So we want to do as much AoE damage as possible. So not bad so far. Spiderling horde. It's kind of a creepy boss. A lot of these bosses, like... The models on them are so highly detailed that it's kind of creepy <laughs> it's kind of like if you don't like spiders probably not gonna find yourself doing too much of this dungeon you're like just don't look at the screen don't look at the screen it's too creepy this is what you get when you have a, a good art team okay so so far so good might have to refresh ourselves on the uh the other legendary he's using here I think someone else has said that they were using Vrask in certain things, but I don't know. He, he just didn't seem like a unit that I really wanted to build myself. I guess everyone has their preferences, though. We're not really doing... We're not really beating this dungeon. I feel like when I do this, this dungeon as well, it's very, very slow. Ooh, nice damage, nice damage, nice damage. But we need to, uh, nice, we needed to take that one down now. At least we have some AoEs here, but I feel like this could be, could be improved though. Nice. All right, so it should be, it shouldn't be too, too much longer. I'm just surprised to see. I, I feel like the Vras could be, some could be in there. That's rough, man. That's rough. That's the big heal from, uh, 
all those spiderlings from like absorbing all those spiderlings if we don't have the AoEs available. So we got AoE, we got some weakens, we did some damage, some fluff damage. We need to finish this off though. There we go. So that he can't heal. Did some decent damage to the boss, but not done yet. As long as this Cupid is gets some more turns. I mean, he's got that we we've got the speed buff on on the team though. But Cupid just needs to take some turns to be to really do his uh his craziness. There we go. Like I said, Cupidus needs to take some turns to uh, do his craziness. So Cupidus 2.8 million damage. Robar was doing decently as well. I still, I man, every time I read anything, I need to re-refresh myself like 7,000 more times. Um, I'm just surprised to see the Vraska in there, to be honest. So I understand kind of the uh, the Apothecary, because the Apothecary is still uh, turn cycling the team, right? The Apothecary's got to heal, and he's also turned. But the Vraska's got to heal as well. But that's just me. I like my Kale. I'm, I'm not farming as high of a level, but I like my... Uh, I have a 6-star Kale, and he's got... Uh, he's, he's pretty okay for that. AoE. In, increased chance of getting a critical hit as well. And then fills the turn meter 25% uh, for each enemy killed. He doesn't do as big damage as Cupid as does with his, uh, with his damage uh, based on the enemy uh, debuffs. Which is nice. Oh, and he he's the, he's tanky bruiser, right, right, right. He's he's both, but he could be doing more damage as well if he was built less bruiser but more DPS. He'd be doing more damage. That is still pretty good stats so far. Uh, what else do we want to see? I wanted to show. I wanted to show this the dragon's lair and also the fire knight. Let's see, let's see the team. Let's see at least the, uh, I don't know if the last Fire Knight is going to be reliable, but, uh, so for Fire Knight, we want a lot of multi-hitters too, but let's see for dragons. So dragons we want, oh, I guess he didn't complete stage 15 yet. Hexweaver. Decrease accuracy, heals all allies by 15% of the max HP, increases crit rate and speed. I'm actually kind of surprised to see, like, I know that it's just the power of the legendaries. I'm surprised that this is the team, actually. Kind of, kind of curious. But then again, like I said, he's doing a, he's doing a higher level dungeon than I am anyway, so. I feel like I would... I so when I do my dragons, I have too much support. I'm like go at all support, all support, all support. But what I notice from his stuff is he's got a lot more. De like he's got a lot of enemy debuffs. He's got a lot of poisons. He's got a lot of enemy debuffs. Um, and then of course he does the damage based on enemy debuffs with Cupidus as well. So my dragons is going on too long, and I'm not being aggressive enough when I'm doing it. So like, I'm like, oh, let me counter the mechanics by having immunity and by having a cleanse. And he's like, nah, let me just do a bunch of damage and kill this thing. Although now we do need, it would be nice to have some immunity and cleanse, but, uh, last, the last few times I, I looked at this team, it was doing more debuffs at this point. So let's get some more debuffs on. Let's get an HP burn. Let's get some more debuffs. But immunity and cleanse is not that on this dragon as well. Yeah, so we got some more debuffs. Okay, so this is... It would have been a little bit faster if... There's the HP burn finally at the end. So again, Cupidus did a pretty decent damage. Robar did... Okay. And then the green is on the bottom. The green is the uh, the green is the heels. So let's see. I feel like these teams that team could be optimized too. Then again, what do I know? I'm I'm, I'm noob. So this is the Fire Knight's castle. <sighs> Cold heart. I still haven't gotten her. This is she's so good for this though. <sighs> Multi hit first skill.
I bet he'd even get these teams faster too. So decrease accuracy, AOE, decrease attack, and heal all allies, and reflect damage. I'm, I'm actually surprised to see some of these teams. I didn't see the Fire Knight Castle yet, though. So this is this is new to me. We'll do some uh <laughs> We'll do some arena and then lose. And then it'll be up to him to uh to rank back up. After Bagel lo loses him down to uh gold two. Hey man, I'm really good at getting gold one. I'm just saying. That's kinda like my go like go okay, down to gold one. I'm almost at gold two. Alright, I'm almost there. The beauty of uh, of a new game, the beauty of a new game is that like, oh, arena isn't insane. It's not insanely ridiculous to get anywhere in arena. It's kind of nice. All right, what are those enemy tails? So let's see. I think the I think the uh, the cold heart is kind of gonna do a lot here. Kind of. I think the cold heart is definitely going to do a lot here. Okay, we got the multi hit. As soon as cold heart goes, shield is down. Look at that. Cold heart's so good. I I feel like I feel like you just like you could build a multiple cold heart team for this dungeon and have it be nice. But I don't know how cons I don't know how much he's farming, how consistent this is, and how much he's farming it. He's got the poison. Still need to do another uh, another few hits. Get that shield down again. Okay, so now we can do damage to it. Since the shield is down. Heal reduction. Still need to do more damage to it. I feel for the most part, multi-hits, debuffs, and a lot of team buffs is what I'm seeing for his team. But I feel like he could have more multi-hits. I gotta, you know what I gotta do? I just gotta build an apothecary. I just gotta like bite the bullet and just build this guy because everyone's using him and I need to stop being stubborn and just build apothecary. Okay, down shield is, the HP burn, but the shield is, okay, shield is down again. Can we get a Cupidus hidden? Didn't do as much damage as we wanted it to. But this is kind of like the most most end game of the dungeons currently, I think. Well, I don't think it's, it's considered to be the most the the more end game of the dungeons until the higher level dungeons come out. So, almost there, and back to back to shield, and back to shielded. Three minute team though. Three minute team. But with some upgrades and improvements. No key. Three minute team. Um, with some upgrades and some improvements. More multi hits and more tweaking. I feel will be good. He probably doesn't farm it that much though. I think he was just. I think what he said was he was just farming a lot of Minotaur and possibly dragons right now. So, let's take a look at some arena. I don't want to hit that Santa team. Let's hit this team. Okay. So what does he have? He has the Seeker. Well, he has the, he has the speed lead. The Jingle Hunter is the speed lead. 24%. Um, then he has the Seeker to increase the attack gauge. Let's just hit it. Seeker to increase the, increase the attack gauge and then two big AoE damage. Ooh. I did not realize she was going to go first. That's interesting. What is he... Let's do defense. Defense break. Um, let's do one of these. Of course. Oh, this is the provoke. Who do we want to provoke? Who has the highest attack age? Should we provoke her? 
Never mind. Yeah, well, that was, you know what? That was the right one to provoke, though. Maybe we should have HP burn. Oh, that was decent damage. And then we'll just finish. Okay, 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 okay. I didn't lose it for him. Nice. I'm just going to hit everything. But his Venus is faster than his... Doesn't she have good base speed? Okay, so we, we defense break first. Then we uh, do one of these. Then we provoke. Who are we provoking? Who are we provoking? Who are we provoking? Nobody! <laughs> They're not under any of those debuffs, so I guess we'll just do uh, one of these. Maybe we should be HP... Oh, wow! They basically... Well, they, they had defense breaks, but they basically just fell down. <laughs> they basically fell down. That's so awesome. Okay. Ooh, this looks like an OP team. I don't want to hit that. We might have to cherry... Oh, hold on! That's like gold one team! Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Let's try HP, uh, HP burning them. And then we'll do one of these. And then we'll do uh, who... It, I can't even see who's who. Can we provoke? Just kidding! Okay, we can't provoke. Just kidding. I don't want to provoke anyway. Defense break. So, he doesn't seem to be provoking too much. I like this team, though. He doesn't seem to be provoking too much. <laughs> rip, rip the dream. Good old, good old provoke. Can we get higher than gold four? Lols. Let's do HP burn again. Wait, did I use... I used the HP burn, right? And we'll provoke... Um, oh, actually, we have to provoke their seeker. There we go. And I provoked the wrong one, clearly. <laughs> Good job. Oh, you know what? I see, I see what it is. The wild swing, and then we use the jingle hunter, and then he does the freeze and the stun, and then we do the extra damage based on that. Okay. Is he using the burn first, or is he using? I feel like it was better if we if we use the uh, the the defense break first, than the burn first. Maybe that's maybe that's what he was doing though. We can just auto finish it off. I'm just surprised she's going faster than the seeker. I guess I was just expecting the seeker to go first. So what do we have here? I don't really know what some of these units, the uh, some of these enemy legendaries do though. Ooh, I remember seeing her today though. Let's do uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do. Who are we? Oh, who's gonna move next? You, right? I, w I I was right. I was right, but we didn't get the provoke. And then we have uh, one of these. Nice. Ooh, it's so much easier to do high level arena when you have super OP units. Hot damn. Can we hit these other ones? Can we hit these? I'm, this is going to be a four hour long video. Let's hit, let's hit a team that's, like, clearly over... Yo! Everything is fully maxed legends. <sighs> this is what it looks like to lose. I know we're going to lose this one. They're going to... First off, they're going to... Oh, really? Oh, you know what? I expect them to be faster, too. But... Whew. 
Who do we need to prov I don't know who we need to provoke. Oh, we actually got one. Oh, we actually got one too? Okay. Wow, I thought we like were definitely dead. I was like super convinced that we were definitely Oh no no oh no we 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 are dead, we are dead, never mind, we are dead, we are dead. As soon as they get a turn, as soon as they get a turn, we're dead. Wait, oh is this it's deceptively We deceptively seemed like we weren't gonna lose. But if we did more damage, actually, we would have been able to uh we would have been able to do that. To take that. I thought I expect them to be faster, actually. But he's gonna cut in. No, he's not gonna cut in. How fast is the seeker? We gotta go for you. No provoke. Oh hold I Different things are moving first than I than I think they are gonna be. I cannot kill anything with these. I say we just I say we just auto and <laughs> let things happen that are okay. I I'm surprised at some of the outcomes of these, actually. Alright, anyway. Super cool, super cool that we were actually able to... What is this? Yes. Super cool that we were able to uh, check out. Thank you, Scrippies, for letting us check out your account. Uh, again, thank you to Player for sponsoring the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I thought it was fun to play with a high-level account to see the fun toys and what high-level uh, gold for. I mean, for, for currently high-level, because it's going to change. Things are going to get more OP down the road. Um, but currently, high-level stuff. Uh, to see what kind of what kind of high-level gameplay is. So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, thank you to Player for sponsoring the video. If you guys like it, want to check it out, check it out in the link below in the description. And I will see you as always in the next one.